What's up, party people? Chris from Crashbox here. Taking a quick look at the Mafex John Wick figure. This just released in the past month. Pretty excited to get this. This was uh, something I was really looking forward to this year. Mafex is coming out with a second version of this this summer. The uh, white shirt version from the second movie, John Wick 2. Let's look at the weapons that he comes with. These are all pretty accurate to what you see in the in the film. I'm going to do my best to try to show you what we have here. All right, up first we have the Glock 26 pistol. No paint on this gun. It is very well, well sculpted, but uh, no paint at all, which is a little disappointing. This next gun is a Heckler and Koch P30L fitted with a custom compensator. This is his primary firearm that he uses in the movie. Once again, very well sculpted. Not a bit of paint anywhere on it. Kiltec KSG Tactical Shotgun is the next weapon. Once again, very well molded. This one almost looks like it might have a little bit of a, a metallic to it. So this one might have gotten a little bit more attention than the pistols. And finally, we have the Kahari Arms CA415 with a shortened barrel EOTech 553 holographic sights, a vertical grip, and a Magpul PMAG. Once again, very well de detailed. This may have just a little bit of paint on it. Um, it's molded, molded beautifully, though. Very well done from that standpoint. Uh, th this and the tactical shotgun both come with a strap. I'm not crazy about the way either of them lay. It's kind of hard to see these. But, but there they are. So taking a look at the figure overall, I think they did a great job capturing uh, the tones from the movie. His sport coat and, and pants, his suit is actually uh, dark gray, not black. So it's a dark gray suit with a black shirt and tie. thought they did a great job capturing those colors. Um, you can see his wedding ring here on his hand and all his, all his uh, uh, left hands have the wedding ring on. He does come with two head sculpts. Um, the first one is the, I guess, uh, battle damage version. You got some some scrapes and whatnot on it. I prefer this one over the, the other head sculpt we'll look at in just a second. And the uh, the second head sculpt is, is a cleaner look. Um, you know, they've got his spotty beard on there that Keanu likes to rock pretty much in all his roles. So, uh, very well done. You know, this digital paint can be hit or miss, but uh, no complaints on the head sculpt. I do know some people were having some issues with their uh, figure having legs and things popping off. It's a Mafex figure. You don't really know what you're going to get until you get it. The only issue I've had is some of the, he doesn't have a butterfly joint, so so trying to get some cross arm poses, um, you, you lose an arm, which it, it just pops back in. It's just a double ball joint. Uh, that, oh, in his head. Here we go. Let's make a million here. Realign his shoulder. You don't get a lot of of, uh, of head articulation, not as much as I probably would have liked, but uh, but it, it is there, and he holds all his weapons well. I did create something special for this project. Uh, I've actually had this done for a bit in the background there. I have created John Wick's Mustang. Let's take a look at that. So here we have it. I've uh, had this to do for, gosh, uh, probably close to a year. I, I got this car from a, uh, a community yard sale, I guess would be the best way to describe it. My wife called me and said, hey, there's a guy here with a bunch of these size cars. I want five bucks a piece for them. She sent me a couple pictures of, of them and I said, okay, just get them all. So she got all of them. This was, this was the highlight of that. A lot of... Um, tuner cards and stuff in there that yeah, I could probably use in some capacity, but this is a, this is a Radio Shack RC Ford Mustang Boss 302 edition, and the one I got it had been road hard and put up wet, safe to say. This had been somebody's toy where they played with RCs and, and raced it and whatnot, so, so the body wasn't perfect. There are some broken pieces I'll show you. This is damn near impossible to find. Again, I have scoured the internet. One time I found one and didn't buy it. Um, I haven't, haven't ever seen it since. So they, they don't show up on eBay very often. Um, it appears it's from maybe 2002 through 2005. It was sold at Radio Shack. 
Uh, obviously, John Wick's Mustang isn't this exact car. It is a 69 Mustang, but his is a, a Boss 429. There's just a couple body differences, mainly on the side here. There is a um, there's a scoop that goes right here. I didn't I didn't recreate that, or, or as yet I did not. Uh, it is tenth scale, so it is it is a it is a little big for uh, for these six inch figures that we normally mess with. Uh, let me show you here, uh, just a, just a little big, but I think it works it works as good as anything else we're gonna get right now. I mean these these cars in this scale are are very very hard to find. I have found in the RC uh, world tenth scale is is about the best you're gonna get. Yeah, the doors don't open. You can't put anybody inside of it, and I'm sure at some point somebody could modify something like this. But I'm gonna say that this thing is pretty rare because uh, I've seen one other one for sale ever, and and I didn't buy it like a fool. So keep your eyes eyes and uh, ears open. Maybe go to yard sales and things of that nature. If you know somebody that's into the RC hobby, they might have a lead for you as well. So just real quick, a couple things to point out on this. Um, the back glass actually is um, has been put in. Originally it had a, and I had it and I don't know where it went, the, uh, the venting on the back. That's not how this car was made. So I simply just got a piece of uh, acrylic, painted it black on the back side and, and stuck it in there. Uh, the only bummer about this is the back bumper is broken. Uh, and I do, I have put the license plates on there. So that's the actual license plate in the car that he uses in the movie for the car. Uh, I did have another bumper made. My father and I made it. Um, he's a master metal shaper. Didn't have the whole vehicle with me though. So unfortunately it is, um, it didn't fit. So he is going to remake that. I'm going to send him the car at a later date. There is one mirror missing over here on the other side as well. There's supposed to be a rear view mirror here, but it is, uh, it is nowhere to be found. So I went to uh, my local auto parts store and, and tried to find the closest thing I could based on pictures. And what I ended up using was this storm gray metallic uh, duplicolor paint. It's actually a GM color. Uh, so it, it came out really well. I just rattle canned it because that was the quickest way for me to do it. Um, and it, it came out really well. I, I wish it was a little glossier. It looks okay under the lights. And then, of course, the uh, the rally stripes. Hello there. The rally stripes on the back and then all the way across the hood as well. The um, the windows were already blacked out, so I didn't have to do anything to them. But, you know, it, it's a great set piece. It really, I think, speaks to uh, to the the movie franchise well. I think it looks great with with Mr. Wick here. Uh, and I wish I could find a million of them and paint them, but unfortunately, it's just not the case right now. This isn't something that's as readily available as um, as I'd like, as well as you know, most vehicles this scale are uh, are hard to find, few and far between. I do have a couple others I may paint. Uh, nothing as cool as this Mustang. So uh, I've, I have built a garage here kind of as a set piece to go with these cars. It's just kind of a personal passion project of mine. And we'll go into that in another video, the full review of that. But yep, so happy to have the John Wick. Happy to, uh, happy to have this car. I think it came out really nice, all things considered. And uh, hey, if you find one, grab it. I can work with you on it for sure. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure you give us a, uh, a like and a subscribe. And social media, we're everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, CrashBoxCustoms.com, right here on YouTube. Catch you next time.